Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we got a trade recap for you. It's July 27th here, Tuesday, and had a pretty decent day. I'm up 453 bucks, so um, not too shabby, pretty good. And the best thing about today was my amount of trade. So let me show you the performance yesterday and kind of compare it with yesterday. Yesterday here I traded, I had 44 trades, which was quite a lot. I ended up the day yesterday at 689 bucks, um, which is pretty good, but it took me 44 trades to get there. And today, let me wipe this out and we'll rotate it over. Slide this over. Oh. Yeah, look at that, six trades up 453 bucks. I like to see this kind of performance where it only takes me, you know, six trades to get up to that amount of money. Um, very good. And today to me was actually a pretty slow day. There was a, a few stocks that I was looking at today that I traded, but not a ton that were moving really hard. It seemed like we had kind of a red day overall in the market. I don't know what this, let's see what the spy is doing. I think we were down today. Uh, well, yeah, down slightly, but it seemed like in the small cap world, everything else was kind of kind of red for the most part. But we had a few other stocks that did give us just some opportunities. First one was Ogen. I took my first trade on this one. Now, this was difficult. Ogen, this was the only one I could find at the time. A very cheap stock under a dollar, but it looks like my first trade on it, I think, was in this zone here, kind of on the way up. Small little scalp trade, really nothing. I got nine bucks on it. Then I moved over to DA, or DY, AI. Kind of a similar deal here where we ran up um, earlier in the morning. And let's, let's see how much I put on that one. That one took me up to 22 bucks. So small numbers there. Uh, but where I really shined was actually on my shorting positions today. I took two short positions and put some good money on those. So let's look at those. That was on, my first one was on INTZ. And let's take a look at the actual trade. Here's the chart, the daily chart on it. And if you look at the yearly, let's look at the yearly real quick. This is what we have. Um, obviously, it's gone through a huge run up in the last year and a big crash uh, more recently this year. So I guess what kind of the play was on this one was that it was kind of a bottom reversal, if you will, where it's just been going down. It's been bleeding off so much that I guess today was just a just kind of a nice pop. So we did have this opportunity, low volume all day long until about, you know, in the afternoon, about 12, you know, 12, 14 in the afternoon. And from there, really just blew up. It looks like there was some news. I don't know exactly what it was, but um, moved up really fast, went into a couple halts. And I looked at this and, okay, so let's, Let's find out what, how we can trade this. And I think initially I was a little worrisome to get in because trading off a of no volume and then just exploding out of nowhere to me is a little, I get a little hesitant. I like to see that momentum, but I want to see that it's sustained. And so I actually, I think I missed out cause I was having some breakfast or something missed out on part of this move, but realized, Hey, there's opportunity to short this thing. If it, you know, explodes that high. So, Let's see more of my first, first short was at, yeah, 131. So once I saw it go through this entire move up here, I, th I thought maybe it would be a, a little bit extended. So I decided to go in for a short and I hopped in 1331. Okay. Yeah, I was in this move here. I bought in at 679 
and yeah, right in there. And we had this big sell off and ended up selling at uh, 653. So pretty good short there. That put me up. Uh, what was it? 282 bucks on the day. So good trade right there. Very good short for me. I moved on over to BVXV because that one was having quick pop and I actually lost, what was it? Um, something like 50 bucks on it. B, what was it? BV, BVXV. And uh, yeah, I just hopped in. I forgot where the spot was. 1337. Okay, right. Here, yeah, I was actually towards the top of this. I just, uh, horrible entry. I didn't, I thought it might extend a bit. It looks like I hopped in at 399, ended up selling at 393. So I did cut the loss very quickly on that. Um, took like a $50 hit on that one. Then I moved back over to I, um, INTZ for another short, and this was a good one because this brought me all the way up to 412 bucks. So INTZ, and from there, I'll show you what uh, my short was on this one. Okay, 1349. Let's zoom in. Okay, so I ended up hopping in in this area here. I got in at 555, and ended up selling or covering at uh, 535. So I took this this quick down play and I thought it might rip past, but it didn't, but I ended up selling for um, a good spread there. So that put me at 412 bucks, a good good trade for me. And you know, I was anticipating that eventually this breakdown, it was kind of forming a base, eventually did it later on. But later at that point, I don't think I was paying attention. I was doing something else and so I missed that, but uh, I did go long on it after that short. I hopped in again. Let's see. Uh, 1546. Actually, this is later in the day. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, right in here. So this was the last trade of the day. 1546. So there we had this curl that was coming up. And I actually missed it, right? But what I did was I decided as it popped up, it went pretty dramatic, pretty fast, right up there. So as it pulled back dramatically, I decided to buy in and then sell for a tiny little pop to the upside going long. So that was buying at 549 and then selling at 553. So that was last trade of the day and it put me up 453 bucks. So overall, I like to see this. This is great, um, great progress. The fact that I can put on six trades and be up 453 bucks is much better than I've been doing in the past. You know, there's been days I'll get up to whatever it might be, 600 or 300, and I run through maybe like 40 or 50 trades to get there, which is a ton. And it's just me like getting somewhere and then just chopping around for a long time. So when I can do this, it's great. And considering to me that it was a pretty slow market in small caps today, I didn't see anything. I don't think we had anything. We might've had something go past a hundred percent, but it wasn't sustained for very long. So, um, yeah, but I am going to go over one more trade. There's a bag hold that I, I do have. It was on NAOV. I forgot to cover this yesterday for you guys. I mentioned I was going to do that and I completely forgot at the end. But here's NAOV. This thing had a huge run I told you about on Friday. And I got in, traded it on the long side on Friday, but it ran up massively. What happened to me is I ended up going in for a short super way too early. I didn't realize this thing was going to explode as much as it did. So I hopped in at what uh, one, my average cost is 136, trying to short it to the um, downside and it blew past me and just, it got out of hand. Uh, Friday, I was not feeling good about this trade here, but I was holding it. So I figured it would come down just looking at this yearly chart. 
It's a very ugly chart um, on the yearly chart, just trending downhill for the longest time. And then you have these days where it pops up. And so that's what I was expecting on Friday, but Friday just ran up super big and it did have some, you know, uh, legitimate news, which uh, I guess helped sustain this whole run. But Monday, yesterday, we had a huge, huge, huge sell off. So I got in a much better position. So all the way up in here, I was sitting like down, I think it was about 2,500 or 3,000 bucks up at the highs. And once we got that sell off, I was feeling much better about this, this trade. I knew it would come down. I just didn't know if we'd go for another huge run on one of these other days. But anyways, I still haven't covered this yet, but now I'm down, we're down to, today was a kind of a flat, lower day slight no volume and just slightly trending down so we're at 147 i'm only down eight percent on it i'm down 142 bucks which is much better than where i was at before being down three thousand bucks so i'm still holding this i'm looking for it to break it so it looks like it's got a some support in here slightly but then again there's not much volume um as compared to the previous days and looks like we got just you know that bottom there's 142 so i'm gonna i'm just gonna wait and see if we can break that bottom and move on down to 136 and either try to break even on it or just get a little bit of profit but to me on the yearly it seems like we've maybe got you know if it there could be the possibility of it going all the way down to you know back to 77 cents or it could find some support in here maybe for a while who knows maybe for a whole year and then eventually go on another run if there's good news i don't know uh but or it could just keep trending down so we'll see still holding that looking to just get rid of it soon because i am shorting it and i do have to borrow it which means i'm paying interest on it but uh interest isn't that much on it i think it's about five or six bucks a day uh, and there's some calculations to it on how they charge that interest, but not too bad. I, I just would like to get rid of it either way. Just looking to see if we can break that level though. So that pretty much does it for me, you know, up 453 bucks. Um, puts me in a better spot on the calendar and uh, that's good. But still this month has been really pathetic for me. I just made too many bad trades this month and got in a uh, kind of a, a bit of a rut and uh, I don't know hopefully I can end green on the month here I'm not up much so I don't have much of a cushion but definitely want to improve especially next month uh, but we'll see that uh, is pretty much all I got for you guys today thank you for tuning in and let me know how you did today make sure to Smash like button, give me that subscribe if you're interested in following my journey here to see how I trade every single day and see how my progress goes. But I'd like to hear from you as well to find out if you're green, if you're red, and what you traded. If you found like it was a slow day as well in trading uh, the small caps too. So love to hear from you. Take care. See you on the next one.